the hardest time I had was when it was time for me to get out and Judy denied my home plan and that crushed me and I basically I turned away from her and God and didn't want anything to do with either one of them. I was very angry at the situation. Um, we had been around that mountain before, and I was really angry that we were there again. And um, I basically cut off communication with him. I felt let down by both God and Judy, and it took me almost two years to get over that anger. It was worse than just anger, it was a rage. And then finally, when I, when I got to the end of my room, and I cried out to God, and I said, God, you need to do something, you need to do it now, because I can't go on like this any longer. Even though I wanted to run, God kept telling me that I needed to stay and stick it out. And that was, that was my hope. That was what I had to hold on to. And it wasn't long after that that Judy and I started talking again. All it took was putting, putting putting God back in the middle of the situation and letting him do what he needed to do instead of trying to do it out of my own strength. We thank God, you know, that we keep him in the center and because that's the only true way that we're ever going to make it. And things, even during the rough times, the rough times anymore, ain't as bad because usually one of us end up breaking down and we either pray or we come to God on our own individual basis and he helps us to make things work. You know, we just celebrated our 15 year anniversary on Tuesday and it's been an up and down journey, but it's been a blessed one. It continues to get better as long as we keep God in the center.